It's all good fun random teleporting into an enemy zone, looking for a low power city to snack on until you become the snack. In this video, our officer Cortex gets imprisoned. Will he survive? And more importantly, could you? Hello my friends and welcome back, I'm Chiskool Gaming, and today we're gonna watch Cortex, an officer of Wolf Kingdom 75, get imprisoned and rallied twice. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos as we watch Cortex smash out that gear that he's gotta get in place onto his city defense. Now Cortex, he was not exactly minding his own business in a war zone, random teleporting around, looking for cities to go and hit, when he himself got imprisoned. Now, if you didn't see our live stream earlier, uh, I guess it was yesterday at the time that you'll be watching this, so if you didn't see our live stream yesterday, I'll put a card up in the top, don't look at it now. At the end of this video, I'll remind you that you should go check it out because we invade the zone five of the enemy kingdoms uh, in this case, it's 348 in our KVK Season 5. So we're invading their zone, and look, uh, this kingdom did not roll over. They put up a fight, okay? And part of that was trying to take out Cortex, who, look, he's asking for it, random porting around, scouting things. He's off territory, and if you're off territory in Kingdom versus Kingdom, you should expect to get wrecked. And by the way, also in our live stream earlier today, we imprisoned someone, and they lost over a million troops, dead troops, not to mention the full hospital bill. So in prison is terrifying. It's 10 minutes of hell. Has to be the 10 scariest minutes of a governor's life if you aren't prepared for what's about to happen next. Because look, when you imprison someone, it's because you want to zero them. You imprison them so they can't teleport away before the rally arrives. Once the rally arrives, they can't teleport away because that's how rallies work. Once the rally's hitting you, you're stuck. So this guarantees that Cortex is going to get hit by rallies. That's plural because there are two rallies set on Cortex at this time. There are two Attila Takeda rallies that are going to hit him. Now you're going to watch. You saw his preparations as he was putting on equipment to his Charles Martel, playing around with his builds. Yeah, you better believe that However many gems you're going to spend messing around with builds before a rally hits is worth it <laughs> because you are protecting your troops in your city. 100% worth double checking you got the right stuff. Now, I believe he's using a Charles Martel with an E Song secondary. In my personal opinion, I get that he's trying to prepare for this double rally that's coming, but I think he would have been probably better off with a Constantine. The reason that I'm a big fan of Constantine in this context is that Constantine's expertise skill is going to give 15%, I believe, attack to all troop types and 5% defense to all troop types. His city has four different types of troops. You can see here he switches back to a multi-rally build as he realizes, oh man, I have two rallies coming my way here. He does have the Duke title for a little bit of extra stats. He does not have a rune, it looks like. And he does have a 5% token running there. Opportunity here to use a 10%. But again, it's all a blur when a rally's coming your way. Now, 79 and a half million power at the start of this fight. This first Attila Takeda rally is getting completely sauced. And you're going to see in a second, that is because it is not a properly reinforced rally, which is kind of interesting. It's a little surprising that they let this first rally get completely rolled. And yes, we will review the reports at the tail end of this. So you can see this rally is getting very, very melted. And we'll watch here. Once the rally is defeated, we're going to see how many marches were in it. I'm going to guess not very many based on how this is going. We get a look here as the rally is defeated momentarily. And they should have canceled that. Oh my gosh. I don't know what they're doing. One, two. Yeah. Okay. So only three marches. And Cortex takes the right instinct. You zoom in. You heal the troops. Because the second he leaves combat... He can queue up healing. But while you are in combat with your city, you cannot queue up healing. You don't even need to speed it up. He did. You don't need to. You actually can speed it up in the middle of the combat, and the troops will rejoin into the fight immediately. And you even see that in the battle log as a surge of troops. So he could have waited a little bit to get helped as the next rally arrives. Now, if you wanted to see a video uh, where we ourselves do exactly that, I'll put a card up in the top. In the good old Marv War days, when, uh, yeah, we were getting rallied and we healed our troops in the middle of that fight, 
uh, we had queued up the healing, but we could speed up the hospital. So now you're watching the second rally doing some work on his city here. Cortex is watching his war frenzy because this, my friends, is your only way out of this situation, a peace shield. Uh, Cortex has taken so many losses that the system has done an automated, I guess, distribution of resources to him. Not very effective because he's still getting rallied and he could just lose them all. So that's a little bit weird for the timing of that. But whatever, the enemy kingdom is preparing now to swarm his city. And by the way, if you were wondering, what is that display around the screen? Cortex could took this recording for me and you're seeing Bluestacks on the screen. Bluestacks is an app or I guess a program that lets you play Rise of Kingdoms on your computer, consider downloading it using the link in the description, which will support our channel. That's what Cortex was using when he took these rallies, which, I don't know, I mean, I think that's a pretty good testament to the reliability of Bluestacks if one of our players is taking rallies and doing it through Bluestacks rather than the comfort of, I don't know, their, whatever mobile device they prefer, okay? So Cortex is now down 2 million power. 2 million power. This rally did, I believe, get a few reinforcements here. He's checking. It looks like he's going to try to change the build. I don't know if that does anything in the middle of a rally on your city. But again, if you don't have that information, which I don't right now, and it'd be pretty hard to figure that out. Um, I guess we could figure it out, but it'd be an expensive test. You know, it's probably worth the gems to switch it up. <laughs> it's probably worth the gems. I'm going to guess that when you're in the middle of combat, it doesn't do anything, though. My personal guess. Now, Cortex is getting real low here. He's getting real low. He's past the 50% mark, which, if I remember correctly, doesn't Attila Takeda get a damage boost? Specifically, I think it's Attila gets a 20% damage boost when the target's below 50%. Anyways, this is when Cortex is switching from being a predator to being food. And the only thing that can save him... <laughs> is that peace shield his war frenzy still not available to him uh or rather his peace shield still not available because he's in war frenzy so war frenzy is a 15 minute debuff or i guess really it's a buff it gives you three percent more attack but you also can't use a peace shield whenever you take a warring action against another player uh yeah you refresh your war frenzy so cortex was doing all that scouting which gave him the war frenzy and you know I think it's good for defenders that this imprison is only going to last 10 minutes. So uh, the War Frenzy, depending on how long uh, ago he had taken a war action, will wear off. It looks like he had been idle, I guess, for some amount of time between when he got the War Frenzy and when he got imprisoned. Which, by the way, really important that you watch the War Frenzy. That or it's, yeah, I guess it has to have been less than the 10 minutes. He's now down to 76 million power, okay? So he's lost 3.9 million power, about 4 million power. The uh, siege engines making their way over, looking to get Cortex's resources, and he does have a meaningful amount of resources here. War Frenzy's still active. Ooh, that siege unit hitting his city way too soon. It's a city, dude, and oh my gosh, that march just got completely wrecked. War Frenzy with just seconds left. Cortex's hospital filling up really fast. I mean, he's down at this point almost 5 million power. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This is getting a little bit dangerous. It's time for that peace shield. It's really quite time for that peace shield. He gets the warning. The hospital's almost full. Time to bail out of this, buddy. The time to bail out of this. He's letting it run a little bit longer, 13 seconds. He's got to suck it up. <laughs> 13 seconds more. Eight seconds left. Until we can peace shield. Oh my gosh. The siege marches getting ready to snack. Starting to swarm. If they had swarmed sooner, they would have got him. If they had swarmed sooner, they would have got him. He's now down over 5 million power. That hospital's got to be nearly full at this point because he's got a blend of T4 and T5. Here come the siege units. He's watching his hospital, I suppose. Oh, here it is. There's the peace shield. Woo! Oh man. Breathe a sigh of relief. He lost nearly 6 million power there. Fate changer bundle popped. Let's go in game and check out these reports. He escaped that in prison by the skin of his teeth. All right, let's look into these reports. First rally, which had only three players in it. <laughs> they lost 159,000 troops. That rally should have been canceled. I don't know what they were doing. 
This, this to me makes no sense. The Sev wounds to Cortex. It's just a scratch, baby. He heals the troops and it doesn't matter at all. I like the double rally idea. I wish they'd stuck with it, but I think the problem is that to do a double rally, remember, you have to have people in two alliances. And we had this exact problem today when we were rallying a city that we had imprisoned where I was like, oh my gosh, somebody else rally it. But like, how are you going to do that? We have only one alliance in the zone. So where's that other rally coming from exactly? Easy to forget that you have to have multiple alliances going to have multiple rallies. And in KBK, it's actually really hard to get multiple alliances into a new zone and rally ready. Usually you're stacking one place or another. Anyways, let's look at the next report, which is the real bulk of what happened here. Second rally hits his city. Now, this went, I think, pretty well for Cortex. He's still losing in terms of how was the fight going? Better for the rallier. But since he was defending his city and not a flag, um, yeah, worked out really well for Cortex. He's got 621,000 Sev wounds, and there are zero Sev wounds for the rally lead, Prince of War, but they have 463,000 dead troops. That is 3 million power lost for them. It is a blend of T4 and T5, Pretty even-ish blend. Uh, and Cortex's city, let's just get a peek at what he had, although we saw in the video earlier, a mix of T4 and T5 troops, mostly T5 actually, which is interesting that he doesn't have a few marches of T4 to run around with infantry or archers in the field. That's some real dedication there to field fighting. Looking in at the troop buffs, these were Expertise, Attila, and Takeda. And if we just peep a little bit at the stats here, the 277% cavalry attack seems maybe a little low to me. Maybe these are a little low from where I'd like them to be. I'd have to double check the health number. That I think might actually be pretty good. I'd have to double check that though. I think you could get some better stats maybe onto your Attila Takeda. But honestly, like kudos to the defenders here for launching a rally on Cortex City. I'd say kudos to Cortex for taking the rally, but he didn't really have any choice here. He had no choice whatsoever in that matter, okay? So I really want to remind everyone, so you're not like surprised, like, oh, I got in prison. Oh, P.S. Oh my God, that Cleo that was standing outside his city, 103,000 dead troops there. Dead T4 is savage. That's 400,000 power loss. Another player, 14,000. Another player, 20,000. Another player, 10,000. Another player, almost 2,000. 2,500, 10,000. 5,000, 2,000. 4,000, 2,000. Woo! It, I mean, it stacks up real fast when you start swarming a city, yeah, especially with the Esong at the tail end of that. Made it made really a ton of sense for that AoE damage. The thing is, though, you can switch off of the... Constantine to the Esong, assuming he has his Constantine expertise. I don't actually know if he does. I don't actually know if he does, and I could look more closely at uh, the video earlier to sort of prove that one way or another. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this footage. And now is the time where I remind you again, I shared a card earlier that you can check the little info button up in the top. If you'd like to see footage of us imprisoning someone earlier today and them losing over a million troops, Completely savage. You don't want to be on the receiving end of a Sterling rally. Trust me on that. And you also could watch the video we did, I think it was about two days ago, where our allies 258 legit straight up swarmed a city <laughs> that they had imprisoned. 60 million power. They tried to zero it. They actually didn't completely zero that city. I thought they sort of had at first blush when I had recorded it, but they had not fully zeroed the city. But I mean, that player lost a lot of troops. They can feel pretty good about the number of dead troops that they had uh, taken with them. But like at the end of the day, when you have no marches left, it still kind of sucks. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.